Hey, welcome back everybody. This is part three in the video series for the 1984 300D Astral Silver with blue interior. And I've already finished the undercarriage, uh, the suspension and the air conditioner. So I wanted to show you all of that work. And we'll go ahead. <clears throat> We've redone the entire brake system. Uh, you can see uh, new rotors. Those are ATE rotors, new calipers, new brake hoses. Also notice the dust, uh, dust cap, that's new. We've put in new bearings and new seals and uh, repacked them with grease. So all of that is now new. You can see I have uh, correctly refinished the suspension components to the original semi-gloss black. And if you'll notice right here, there are brand new Bilstein shocks. And over here, we have a brand new ball joint, brand new tie rods, brand new brake control. Uh, let's see, the control rod bushing. Also, if you look up here on the lower control arm, this has all been removed. Uh, the spring, everything has come out of the car and we have installed a uh, brand new uh, lower control arm bushings. Also, if we move up here to the top of the car, you see that is a brand new upper control rod. So the entire front end suspension system has been rebuilt on this car. Same goes for over on this side of the car. Uh, there you go. New ball joints, tie rods, brakes, control rod, bushing, all this stuff, lower control arm bushings here. All of this stuff uh, is new and been replaced. And then I correctly refinished all of the original suspension uh, in semi-gloss black. That's how they looked from the factory. Now, <clears throat> a couple other things I want to point out. You will notice right here, that is a brand new AC compressor brand new belts. And while we're under here, take a look. This, you know, this is a 63,000 mile car. All of the cadmium plating is still under the vehicle. You can even see it up here on the uh, oil cooler lines. There it is on the AC manifold. Uh, back here, see it on the transmission cooler line. Um, that, that just means the car was never in a harsh, salty environment because that stuff would never be there if uh, it was in a harsh environment. Also, you can see up here, this is the uh, oil filter housing. You can see there's absolutely no leaking from the gasket. You can even still see, so there's the cadmium on the lines here. On these bolts up here, there's still a little bit of cadmium. Just fantastic condition under this vehicle. See, there's the uh, drag link, steering shock. You can see the cadmium on the line here. Let's go over here. Still even some cadmium on the uh, turbo drain back hose. Now you can see we've converted the system to R134. You can see here's the, the new fittings. And we'll go up top and take a look at this. But you can see that is the new AC receiver dryer with all new switches. We can go take a look at that later when I lower the car down. Uh, let's go back here to the back. What do you think, Thomas? That's what I thought. So you can see back here, I have cleaned and refinished all of the rear suspension in the original factory, semi-gloss black. That's how it's supposed to look when they're new from the factory. Um, let's see, back here, all new brakes. We have rotors, calipers, pads, hoses, sway bar end links, shocks. All of that has been done. Now, these are the original axles. You can see the boots are in excellent condition. There's no ripping, no tearing on the boots. This is a low mileage vehicle, so no need to change uh, the boots. I've also cleaned up and refinished uh, the original exhaust. Uh, I need to put some uh, new exhaust hangers on here. So we got a little bit of cracking appearing in the exhaust hanger there. But yeah, you can see sway bar end link, new shocks. All of this has been taken care of. So 
So it looks very, very good under here. Not only does it look good, all these major components have been replaced. So this will be safe and good to drive on a daily basis. All right, we're back under the car here. Just some things I want to point out. These are the little rubber bushings. This is the uh, bracket that holds the exhaust in place. And all these bushings are just in fantastic condition. And as you know from watching my videos, the, the surface rust on an exhaust system is completely normal. Uh, that is on every single car. But what you look for is the this connection right here. If it's rusted out or rotted out, you'll get like black trails of exhaust where that's no longer sealing. Um, so anyway, the exhaust is in fantastic condition. Uh, and so is the original uh, muffler, uh, resonator back here. All of this is just, it's very, very good. You can see I've cleaned up and refinished the uh, oil pan, uh, transmission oil pan. Also the uh, pan up front. And we have no excessive, we have no excessive leaking around the front of this oil pan. It's, it's really clean, really dry up in here. Just excellent condition. So let's go ahead Lower the vehicle down. I'll show you the new AC components uh, over here. Okay, I just have the vehicle down to like chest level here. I just wanted to show you the, these are the new upper control arms. See the brand new, see the bushings up here? Brand new, excellent condition. This front end suspension, you know, now has, you know, 100,000 miles before you need to replace anything. That's about where you start seeing stuff needing to be replaced. I just wanted to take this shot of all the new suspension. See, we still got the factory markings on the original springs. See how this has been correctly refinished, new shocks. It just looks really nice when all this stuff is redone uh, back to how it would have left the factory. Okay, back up here on the top side, you see I need to install a hood pad. Now, I think I actually have the hood pad in the trunk. Let me take a look back here. Yes, there is the hood pad. That's an original uh, Mercedes hood pad. So we'll go ahead and get that installed. Uh, but I wanted to show you the new AC components because today we're talking about brakes, suspension, and AC. And yeah, look at the cadmium up here. You can even still see the cadmium on the original oil cooler line. See how the, the cadmium is still in a lot of places on this car. Uh, but over here, there's all the new AC components. You can see I have new pressure switch, temperature switch, um, and this is the new receiver dryer. Uh, this switch right here, we actually install that from the, I think it's the 202 chassis, um, but it allows the fan up front, that's the auxiliary fan that adds some auxiliary cooling that lets it kick on a little sooner. And you can see we've done the R134 uh, conversion. Uh, and over here, we can zoom down in the, uh, yeah, there's the new compressor. And look how nice these lines look. Those oil cooler lines look fantastic. There's still cadmium down under here. It's just a excellent condition, low mileage vehicle. Um, so next we want to, uh, you know, we'll back the car out. <clears throat> I want to wash it, uh, clean it up and degrease the engine compartment. Uh, and then we'll bring it back in the shop and we'll start installing the uh, hood pad. And then we'll start going through various items on the car. We're down to like the little knickknack knick stuff. Like, let me show you. I'm gonna need to <clears throat> replace the little, uh, the striker, see the rubber tab right there, how it's broken off. That's what allows the doors to shut smoothly. See, it won't, it won't shut unless you, unless you push hard. So I need to remove the strikers and replace those. Uh, we're gonna check out the antenna. Uh, we're just down to like the little stuff, you know, the, the little nitpicky stuff. So let me go ahead and uh, let's, let's back this out. I just wanna give it a nice uh, car wash and then bring it back in the shop. Now I do have all of the service records on this vehicle. So I was just looking, here's the last handwritten notes here. Let's see, 62,000 so uh, miles, 62,293. Uh, so back in March, April, May, June, uh, it, it is the end of June or middle of June. Um, there was actually already an oil change, oil and filter, Rotella, 
15W40. So that's what I use. So I don't need to change the oil. I'm going to check it, but it has a fresh oil change in it, like not even 100 miles ago. I'm just checking the mileage since the last oil change because it was only changed three months ago. It was changed at 62,293. And we're at 62,360. So it's, I don't know, it's like 70 miles ago the oil was changed just a couple of months ago. So I don't need to mess with that. Now, keep in mind, guys, diesel oil immediately turns black. Like the first time you crank it, uh, that's just how diesel oil is. But uh, I just want to check. Check our oil level. Okay, yeah, that's obviously a, a fresh oil change. Um, let me check our uh, transmission fluid over here. And this vehicle is very well serviced. So you can tell when the transmission fluid is a little older, it starts turning brown and, you know, it'll smell. But let me go ahead and check this. Let me get a white rag. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... We'll go ahead and flush the transmission. That's supposed to be bright red, and I can see that it's a little bit dirty. Um, there's just a little hint of red there. So we'll go ahead, uh, flush the transmission fluid, and do the filter and all that. I can see it's got the correct coolant in there. Let's check the power steering fluid here. Yeah, the power steering fluid is, is fine. That's fresh fluid in there. Um, so don't really need to do anything with that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, service the transmission. And I'll throw a new battery in there. I want to, I'm just kind of going through the checklist in my head, guys, of what I want to do. I want to refinish the air cleaner lid. I see a little bitty spot there where... The paint has come off and it's a little rusty spot. So I want to refinish this. I want to check the battery tray, uh, throw a new battery in there, refinish the battery tray if needed, and of course uh, do the hood pad. So anyway, let's let's roll this thing outside. I want to do a quick car wash on it. But I also want to degrease the engine and clean up the engine compartment because uh, later I'm going to install a fresh hood pad and I just would like everything to be clean in there. So I just use a uh, the Harbor Freight uh, heavy-duty degreaser, and you cut it with a little bit of water. Uh, and this stuff doesn't hurt the rubber or anything, but you can just go ahead and spray it all over the engine and just let it sit for a little while. Especially down here in front of the engine where it gets the most grease. Just let it sit for a little while, you know, five, five minutes or so, and then hit it with a uh, pressure washer. And it'll clean things up really nicely. All right, we're just going to let that sit for a little while. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick car wash while that is soaking. No, Jefferson. No. Now we got it all cleaned up in here. You see there's actually a lot of the uh, cadmium still on these components in the engine compartment. That's all the original stuff. But you can see now how clean, see down here on the uh, vacuum pump and the power steering pump, that's usually all covered in just soot and, and grease and all that from years of 
uh, it collecting under there. So now that's all clean. And we got back here, uh, you know, behind the headlights, cleaned out all these areas. And I just like to have the engines, you know, nice and degreased. It's much nicer to work in there. I've got the car cranked up uh, so the uh, heat from the engine compartment will dry out everything in there. In the meantime, I'm going to get the water off here. 